Hey everyone, welcome back to Astro Week. Who's hot this week? Horoscopes for the week of June 5th to June 11, 2017. That are right for the Echo newspapers and good old Supernatural, Kamloops, BC. Hey everyone, I'm Sunny, and these horoscopes right here are for Capricorn. Alright, first things first. I created a Patreon account and a PayPal wish list, uh, PayPal donation button, and I put it in the description box below for everyone who wants to help support the channel. Every little bit helps support the channel, and I super appreciate the support, and of course, we super need it as well. Also, you know, please continue to support the channel by liking and sharing the videos, of course. <laughs> okay. Again, if, also, and if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the weekend love horoscope update so that everyone gets a chance to answer the questions. Everyone can chime in. And that's the action. Um, all right, let's get down to it. Dear Capricorn, you're entering a romantic cycle of creativity and childlike enthusiasm. It's not a very Capricorn frame of mind, but it will position you for rewards you hadn't anticipated. The past says hello. Capricorn, you getting jiggy with some action here? Oh, Capricorn. Oh, I'm busy tonight. Okay, okay, like, Capricorn. All right, so Capricorn, you're going to be in a reclusive kind of mind this week. You're going to be thinking about the past. You're going to be reminiscing, you know, working behind the scenes, being low energy, low vibe. That's all pretty cool. It's just one of those kind of weeks, right? No big deal. And, okay, so no big deal. Now, uh, you know how, like, home was a good thing for so long? We're moving into a new cycle right now, and you should be super romantic. No, I know. Capricorn is a romantic sign. They just kind of do it a little differently, right? They like to buy things for people. <laughs> Anyways, you'll be reclusive. You'll be reminiscing. Maybe you're going to hang out with someone from your past. You might revisit an old haunt. Don't worry about it. There's also a high possibility that you're going to start fighting with your partner. But, again, don't worry about it, you know? It's a romantic time, so be romantic. If you step sideways, then you step sideways. You know, guys bump each other's toes all the time. You gotta give love a chance and just gotta be cool with each other. And that's what's gonna happen. You are, you should be working on your health, you should be getting back in shape, you should be working on your routine and positioning yourself to succeed, all right? Good things happening in the public spotlight, but don't worry about that. That's gonna continue, has been, and will continue. The main theme right now, the energy shifting, it's moving to your romantic sector. It's a good time if you want to have children, Capricorn. I don't mean like have them for lunch or anything. Like, I mean, if you're going to have kids, now's a good time. Some side Capricorns are going to be getting pregnant. And, I mean, that's pretty cool, adding to the family. And that's pretty much it. I'll give a quick little recap here. So, you're going to be reclusive. That's okay. The past is going to drop by and say hello. That's cool. You know, you know, take a little time for yourself. Slow things down, all right? That's cool, too. Romance is about to get rocky for the next four weeks. That's okay. You know, if you love each other, it's going to work. If you don't love each other, it's not going to... If you don't love each other, it doesn't matter anyways. And so on top of that, romance is highly aspected. You should have a very romantic next four weeks, even if they don't want to be romantic with you. And there's a great... It's a great time to, uh, for children and making children. <laughs> and that's the action. Other, other than that, work on your... Work on... Uh, get your habits down. And that's the action. From the sunny side, Donette, I'm sunny, wishing all Capricorns the absolute best of a beautiful week. And I'll see you cats soon.